Hey everyone! Welcome to the seventh video of our Photography Masterclass series. In our previous video, we discussed the essential elements of composition in photography. In this video, we delve into the world of composition techniques. From rule of thirds and leading lines to negative space and foreground background, we'll cover it all. Trust me, after this video, you'll be able to capture photos that truly stand out. So, let's get started. Rule of Thirds The Rule of Thirds is a composition technique in photography where the frame is divided into nine equal parts using two horizontal and two vertical lines. The idea is to place the main subject along one of the lines or at the intersection of two lines, creating a more balanced and visually interesting image. The concept behind the rule of thirds is that the human eye is naturally drawn to the intersections of the lines. And placing the subject there can create a more dynamic and aesthetically pleasing composition. Additionally, the lines can be used as a guide for placing other elements in the frame to create a harmonious and balanced image. In this photograph, the rule of thirds can be used to position the subject's face particularly eye along one of the vertical lines on the grid. This creates a visually appealing image, with the subject's eyes falling on one of the intersection points on the grid. Many cameras have the option to turn on a grid in the viewfinder or live view display to help photographers align their shots with the rule of thirds. Here are a few examples of rule of thirds. Rule of Odds The Rule of Odds is a compositional guideline in photography that suggests that odd numbers of objects in a scene are more visually appealing, interesting, and natural looking than even numbers. When an image contains an odd number of objects, it creates a sense of variety, tension, and balance as the viewer's eye moves around the image, taking in the different elements. The use of an odd number also helps to create a focal point for the composition as the viewer's eye is naturally drawn to the center object. For example, imagine a photograph of a group of people. If the group contains an even number of people, it may be difficult for the viewer's eye to find a focal point or to distinguish between individual subjects. On the other hand, if the group contains an odd number of people, it creates a more interesting and balanced composition. Overall, the rule of odds is a simple and effective compositional guideline that can help photographers create more visually appealing and balanced images. Rule of Space The rule of space is a compositional guideline in photography that suggests leaving space in the direction that the subject is moving or looking in order to create a sense of balance and tension in the image. The rule of space is particularly effective when the subject is in motion or has a strong directional gaze. For example, imagine a photograph of a bird flying towards the left side of the frame. If the photographer leaves space in front of the bird, it creates a sense of motion and balance in the image. The viewer's eye is drawn towards the space where the bird is headed, creating a sense of anticipation and tension Overall, the rule of space is a simple and effective compositional guideline that can help photographers create more dynamic and visually engaging images. It requires careful attention to the subject's direction of motion or gaze and the placement of space in the direction of that motion or gaze to create a sense of balance and tension in the image. Golden Ratio The Golden Ratio also known as the divine proportion, is a mathematical concept that is widely used in design, including photography. It is based on the idea that there is a perfect proportion between different elements in a composition that is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. This is often represented as a spiral, with the proportions between elements forming the arms of the spiral. In photography, the golden ratio can be used to create compositions that are balanced and harmonious. It involves dividing the frame into sections using the spiral as a guide, with the subject of the photo placed at one of the points where the arms of the spiral intersect. This can help create a sense of movement or flow within the composition, drawing the viewer's eye through the image. 
By using the golden ratio in your compositions, you can create images that are aesthetically pleasing and draw the viewer's eye into the scene. Golden Triangle Golden Triangle Composition is a technique used in photography where the main subject is positioned at one of the three points of an imaginary triangle that is formed by dividing the frame diagonally. This technique creates a sense of dynamic tension in the image, drawing the viewer's eye towards the main subject while also creating visual interest through the use of diagonal lines. In his photograph, the main subject, a person, is positioned at the top point of the golden triangle, with other elements arranged along the diagonal lines of the triangle. This creates a sense of dynamic tension in the image, with the lines leading the viewer's eye towards the main subject. The use of golden triangle composition also adds visual interest to the image, with the surrounding elements providing a complementary visual element. Triangular Composition Triangular composition is a photography composition technique that utilizes triangles to create a sense of stability, harmony, and dynamic movement within an image. The triangle can be created by positioning elements within the frame, such as the placement of objects, lines, and even the direction that subjects are facing. Here are examples of triangular composition in photography. Leading Lines Leading lines are a powerful compositional tool that can guide the viewer's eye through a photograph towards the main subject or point of interest. These lines can be found in many forms, such as roads, fences, trees, and even architecture of buildings. One example of leading lines is a railway track that stretches into the distance, leading the viewer's eye to a distance. Another example is a staircase in a building, leading the viewer's eye from the foreground to the background of the photograph. A third example is a long road, leading the viewer's eye towards a horizon. By using leading lines, photographers can create a sense of depth, movement, and a visual journey for the viewer to follow. This technique can be particularly effective in landscape, architectural, and street photography. S-Curve Composition the S-curve composition is a type of composition technique in photography that involves using curved lines to lead the viewer's eye through the image. It's a way to add flow and movement to a photograph, creating a sense of dynamism and energy. Examples of S-curve composition Ariver flowing through a landscape, creating an S-shape as it winds through the scene. A road that snakes through a mountain range, creating an S-shape as it twists and turns. Apersun walking or riding a bike on a curving path, with the line of the path forming an S-shape. The impact of S-curve composition is that it can also help to add interest to a photo, breaking up straight lines and creating a sense of flow. Remember, the S-curve doesn't have to be perfect. A slightly wavy line or a series of gentle curves can also create a similar effect. The key is to use the line to guide the viewer's eye through the scene and add a sense of movement. If you're enjoying this video on composition techniques, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. L Arrangement L Arrangement Composition is a technique used in photography where the main subject is positioned at the center of the frame and other elements are arranged in an L shape around it. This technique creates a sense of balance and symmetry in the image, drawing the viewer's attention towards the main subject. Here are examples of L arrangement composition in photography. In all of these examples, L arrangement composition is used to create a sense of balance and symmetry in the image. This technique can be used in various types of photography, from still life to landscape, to add balance and visual interest to the overall image. V arrangement V arrangement composition is a technique used in photography where the main subject is positioned at the center of the frame and other elements are arranged in a V shape around it. Here are three examples of V arrangement composition in photography.
In all of these examples, V arrangement composition is used to create a sense of movement and dynamic energy in the image. This technique can be used in various types of photography, from still life to nature, to add a sense of movement and visual interest to the overall image. Cross composition. Cross composition is a technique used in photography where the main subject is placed at the intersection of two imaginary diagonal lines that divide the frame into four equal parts. This technique creates a sense of tension and visual interest in the image, drawing the viewer's attention towards the center of the frame. Here are three examples of cross composition in photography. This technique can be used in various types of photography, from landscapes to architecture, to add depth and visual interest to the overall image. Radial Composition Radial composition refers to a type of composition where the elements in a photo are arranged in a circular or radial pattern, radiating out from a central point. This type of composition can create a sense of dynamism and energy in the image, drawing the viewer's eye towards the center and encouraging exploration of the entire image. Here are three examples of radial composition and their impact. Symmetrical Composition Symmetrical composition is a type of photography composition where the subject is arranged such that it is mirroring itself on either side of an imaginary center line. It creates a sense of balance and stability in an image. It is often used in architectural and still life photography, but can also be used in other forms of photography to create a harmonious and calming effect. In all these examples, symmetrical composition creates a sense of balance and stability in the image, making it more aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Frame within a frame Frame within a frame is a composition technique in photography where the photographer uses elements in the scene to create a secondary frame within the main frame of the photo. This inner frame helps to draw the viewer's eye to the main subject, while also adding depth and interest to the overall composition. Here are a few examples of frame within a frame in action. The impact of using a frame within a frame composition can be quite striking. By creating a secondary frame, the photographer is able to direct the viewer's attention to the main subject, while also adding depth and interest to the overall composition. Additionally, the use of a frame within a frame can add a sense of mystery or intrigue to a photo, as the viewer is left to wonder what lies beyond the secondary frame. Fill the frame. Fill the frame is a composition technique where you zoom in or move closer to your subject to fill the entire frame with it, leaving very little or no negative space around it. This technique helps to create a strong sense of focus and emphasis on the subject. Here are examples of fill the frame composition in action. Fill the frame is a great way to emphasize your subject and create a strong visual impact. Just remember to consider the balance and proportion of the elements within the frame, as well as the background, to maintain a visually appealing composition. Isolate the subject. Isolating the subject composition in photography is a technique that involves using various visual elements to separate the main subject of the photograph from the rest of the scene. This technique can help to create a strong focal point and draw the viewer's attention to the subject, making it the clear and dominant element in the image. One of the most common ways to isolate the subject in a photograph is to use shallow depth of field. This involves setting the camera to a low f-stop number, which creates a narrow depth of field. Another way to isolate the subject in a photograph is to use contrast. This involves making the subject brighter or darker than the rest of the scene, creating a visual contrast that draws the viewer's attention to the subject. Overall, isolating the subject composition in photography is a powerful technique that can help to create striking and visually interesting images. Foreground interest and depth. Foreground interest, also commonly referred to as foreground bokeh or foreground blur, refers to the placement of an object or element in the foreground of an image that adds visual interest, depth, and context to the overall composition. 
the use of foreground interest can help to lead the viewer's eye into the image and create a sense of scale and perspective. Depth composition, on the other hand, refers to the use of depth of field to create a sense of depth and dimensionality in the image. By using a shallow depth of field, the photographer can blur the background and make the foreground and subject stand out, creating a sense of separation and depth. This can help to create a more dynamic and visually appealing image. The use of foreground bokeh or blur is a powerful compositional technique that can be used in a variety of photography genres, including landscapes, portraits, and still life. It requires careful attention to the placement of foreground elements and the use of depth of field to create a clear separation between the foreground, subject, and background. Deep Space Composition Deep space composition is a technique used in visual arts to create a sense of spatial depth and realism in a two-dimensional artwork. It involves dividing the composition into foreground, middle ground, and background elements and positioning them in a way that creates the illusion of depth. The foreground refers to the elements closest to the camera, the middle ground is the area in between the foreground and background, and the background is the area furthest away from the camera. By using this technique, photographers can create depth and a sense of space within their images, making them appear more dynamic and interesting. Additionally, by placing important elements in the foreground, middle ground, or background, photographers can direct the viewer's gaze and control the overall composition of the image. In each of these examples, the use of deep space composition in photography helps to create a sense of realism and depth in the image, making it more engaging and visually striking. By positioning the foreground, middle ground, and background elements in a way that creates a sense of depth and space, the photographer is able to draw the viewer into the image and create a more immersive experience. Negative Space Negative space composition in photography is a technique that involves using the empty or negative spaces in a photograph to create a sense of balance and visual interest. This technique involves composing an image in such a way that the main subject of the photograph is surrounded by a negative space, which can help to draw the viewer's eye towards the subject. There are several ways that negative space composition can be used in photography. Here are a few examples. Simple and minimalist, one of the most common ways to use negative space composition is to create simple and minimalist images that feature a single subject surrounded by negative space. Environmental portraits, another way to use negative space composition is in environmental portraits where the subject is photographed in their natural environment, surrounded by negative space that highlights the environment itself. Abstract and experimental, negative space composition can also be used in more abstract and experimental photography where the focus is on creating interesting shapes and patterns. For example, a photographer might take a picture of a simple object like a chair or a lamp and then use negative space to create a visually striking composition that draws the viewer's attention to the shape and form of the object itself. Overall, negative space composition is a versatile and powerful technique that can be used in many different types of photography. Left to right rule. The left to right rule in photography is a compositional guideline that suggests placing elements in the image in a left to right direction to create a sense of balance and flow. This rule is based on the way that we read from left to right in many cultures and it creates a natural flow for the viewer's eye to follow. When composing a photograph, the left-to-right rule can be used in a variety of ways. For example, a photographer may place a subject on the left side of the frame and have them facing towards the right, creating a sense of movement and direction in the image. Overall, the left-to-right rule is a simple and effective compositional guideline that can help photographers create more balanced and visually engaging images. It is important to remember that this is a guideline and not a strict rule, and there may be times where breaking the left to right flow can create a more interesting composition. Storytelling Storytelling is a composition technique that aims to convey a message or tell a story through a photograph. It's a powerful way to connect with viewers and evoke emotions in them. Here are three examples to help you understand the impact of storytelling in photography. 
Migrant Mother by Dorothea Lang. This iconic photograph taken during the Great Depression tells the story of a mother who is struggling to provide for her children. The composition is simple, but the emotion it conveys is powerful. The mother's worried expression and the children huddled together create a sense of desperation and hardship. The Kiss by Alfred Eisenstein. This photograph taken on VJ Day in Times Square in 1945 captures the spontaneous celebration of the end of World War II. The composition is simple, with the sailor and nurse in the foreground and the crowd in the background. The photograph tells the story of the joy and relief felt by Americans at the end of the war. The Tank Man by Jeff White This photograph taken during the 1989 Tiananmen Square protest shows a man standing alone in front of a line of tanks. The image captures the bravery and defiance of the protester who stands his ground despite the danger. The composition creates a sense of tension with the tanks looming in the background and the protester in the foreground. In each of these examples, the composition serves to tell a powerful story and connect with viewers on an emotional level. Storytelling is a crucial aspect of photography, and understanding how to use composition to tell a story can elevate your images to a whole new level. So there you have it, folks. We've covered some of the most important composition techniques in photography. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest videos. Until next time, happy composing.